what's happening hot stuff how's it going rob here old city vapors back with another e-juice review for you that's right e-juice got a been getting behind here been doing all kinds of stuff been getting uh, really busy here uh got all kinds of stuff going here i'm going in all these directions at once and uh, i got some e-juice reviews to do a couple uh mod and uh addy reviews coming up so hang tight and they'll be back uh all about you know vaping and that not what not as well as paranormal as where as well as who knows what else some unboxing some of this some of that all kinds of weird videos coming up on the channel if you're not subscribed check it out hit the subscribe button and uh so let's just get to talking about the freaking e-juice right first up i got it in the tugboat aboard the tugboat mod and what am i talking about today it's pink spot bam pink spot vapors uh they contacted me again asked me would you like to do a couple more reviews for us i said sure man you guys have been around you're the name in the game been around forever and uh, have a good product so sure enough they sent me a few juices to try out again and i'm gonna tell you about them right now what have i got in here Ooh. first up is root beer from pink spot vapor root beer you know just sounds kind of plain, just kind of sounds kind of simple, but uh, it's a mouthful of flavor, and it's nice. Root beer can be one of those flavors that, you know, I've, I've had a few root beers before that started out great. And then after they set for a while, I like vape them and go, it tastes like pickles. <laughs> However, I don't ask me why, I don't know. This one, however, this was mixed on nine of uh, brr, brr, nine 2015. So it's been sitting for a bit. Um, and it still tastes like good old fashioned root beer, not like uh, pickles whatsoever, which is good. I don't know what it is about root beer. I love root beer. I drink not your father's root beer, you know, the root beer with alcohol in it. And uh, you have to, got to be careful because I'll get a buzz going off a of root beer because you can't even taste the alcohol. Anyway, I was drinking one of those the other night and I was vaping some of this and I was like, hot dang it, mighty, I got to do reviews on this stuff. I've been slacking, slacking. And I'm not hitting my fire button. Plenty of vapor on this one. This one is a Max VG at three milligrams of Nick. Right in my wheelhouse, right where I like it. Um, they got all different levels of Nick. 0, 3, 6, 12, 18, 24. And for you hardcore folks out there, they got 36. Whoo! If you're dripping 36, you ain't human. Anyways, <laughs> the root beer from Pink Spot Vapor. It's a good root beer. I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, doesn't have any of that weird, twangy, funky aftertaste that some root beers can uh, have or acquire over a bit of time. This one is just nice and smooth. Nice root beer flavor. Kind of a cross between a root beer barrel, you know, one of them hard candies, and like old-fashioned root beer. It's just good. 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 Nice root beer. I like it. If you like root beer, check it out from Pink Spot Vapor. Uh, you can get it in the Max VG or you can get it in their standard 60-40 blend. This, however, happens to be Max VG. So moving on to the next flavor from Pink Spot Vapor is this one right here. And it's called Black Mamba. It's not black, though. It's clear. It's pretty clear. Me, being a snake guy, I know all about Black Mambas. Although I don't have any because, hey, I don't want to get bit by one of those. Because if I got bit by Black Mamba, oh, boy, I'd be up the creek. And you know what creek I'm talking about. This one's nice and safe. <laughs> now you talk about flavor. This one has it. This is one of their signature, signature series of blends. And I'm going to add a little bit more here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 more drops of Black Mamba. What is it? I got it on the Imp from UD Technologies aboard the Tugboat V2, Hexome V2. 
See it right there? Boo! Tugboat. Because, you know, I'm a tugboat fanboy. Although I don't have my tugboat on here. I do have it on here, though. Anyway, I need to get that zombie, uh, at least the cap, to match this. The bloody zombie splatter cap. Or maybe just a whole new tugboat in zombie splatter. So I can be, you know, color coordinated. Because right now I'm kind of off kilter. Anyway. Black Mamba. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm not a huge fruit vape fan. Black Mamba is kind of fruit vape. And even though I say I don't like fruit vapes, I find myself lately liking fruit vapes. So I got the one guy over here on this shoulder saying, nah, you don't like fruit vapes. And the other guy's over here going, yeah, you do. You do, idiot. So... <laughs> I'll come down the middle of the road and say, I like some fruit vapes. This one, I like. <laughs> this one, like I say, it's one of their signature series. It's a 60-40 PGVG blend, and it's a 3 milligram nick level. And what is it? Get to the point, man. It's blackberry cranberry with a citrus hint to it. A citrus twinge to it. I haven't quite figured out what the citrus part is in it yet. I can taste it. And sometimes it tastes a little faint bit of lemony. Sometimes it tastes a little orangey. Or maybe limey. Or hell, maybe it's all three. But predominantly, it's blackberry then cranberry, and then a citrusy kind of hint, tone, nudge to it. And I think the citrus really brings out the blackberry and the cranberry more. And it's pretty darn good. Um, like I say, it's on the floor now. Good thing I put the child safety cap on it. Okay, I'm back. Black Mamba. Like I say, I say I don't like fruit vapes, but I do. In a way. This is, this is a good one. <laughs> and I kind of like that. I like seeing something and saying, I'm, I'm probably not going to like this. And then I vape it and I'm like, I'll be doggone. I do like it. So there you go. Black Mamba. If you like that blackberry flavor... And blackberry, I'll say, you have to be careful because a little bit of blackberry can go a long way. And uh, the way it's blended in this one, it's nice. You get that blackberry, kind of that blackberry cobbler kind of flavor along with cranberries. And then you have that little of citrus in there somewhere along the line that kind of comes and goes. Pretty tasty. And still, being 60-40... Pelini O Vapor. Moving on. Next one in the batch is loaded up in this new RDA that I got. The Twisted Messes. Uh, pretty cool RDA. I've been uh, digging it. I got the 24K. 24. The Gold Edition. Also comes in black. And it's on the Segeli 150 watt temp control mod. What am I at right now? I am at 45.7 watts. I got dual Claptons in here at 0 0.47. I said it before and I'll say it again. When I first started vaping, my favorite vape was an Apple vape. Uh, so I've always kind of had this thing for Apple. You know, even though I don't vape a whole lot of Apple anymore, I still like it. Why don't I vape it? I don't know, because I'm weird. <laughs> but everybody knows that. So Dutch apple pie. This one is kind of strange, because I get the apple, but I also get... it. Kind of When I say strange, I don't mean strange. I mean it kind of... It's like kind of one of those chameleon vapes. I get, it goes from apple to like the crust. You know, Dutch apple pie has that crumbly stuff on top, and it's baked. And 
when I say apple, I'm talking about baked apples, not like the, you know, you would just take a bite of an apple. This is like baked apples with cinnamon and butter and all that stuff in there. Cinnamon, butter, sugar, a little splash of vanilla, maybe, you know, all the stuff that's probably not good for you is in this vape and you don't have to worry about it, you know, because, uh, it's not like eating a stick of butter and, you know, half a pound of sugar. See on that vape, I got the cinnamon, the, that bakery cinnamon, not like red hot or anything like that. So Dutch apple pie, you know, what do you got? You have the crumbly crust stuff. You have butter, cinnamon, maybe a hint of vanilla or something. Apples, baked apples with cinnamon and all the goodness in it. And it's kind of all wrapped up in this Dutch apple. When I first took a vape of this, I was like, wow, apples. And darn tasty apples, I might add. So there you go. Three more from Pink Spot Vapor. Uh, like I say, they've been around for a long time. You can get this in varying nick levels. Uh, prices on the bottles. This size bottle, which is a 12 milliliter bottle, I believe is $9.95. 30 mil bottle is $22.95. And the 120 big boy bottle is $69.95. So there you go. There you have it. I'll put the links below. You can check them out and uh, go right to the flavors that I've reviewed here. Got a few more coming up as long as uh, some as as long as as well as some other reviews and stuff. So there you go. There you have it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button down there in the corner. You can subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out. Who knows what I'll be talking about. Vaping stuff, ghosts, paranormal, UFOs. Snakes, geocaching, I got all kinds of stuff on the channel nowadays, unboxing, one of those coming up soon. So anyways, there you go, and who knows, it's Halloween coming up soon, so who knows what we'll do for that. It's coming right around the corner. Dutch apple pie, just like grandma used to make. There you go, there you have it. See you guys later, bye-bye.